free How could this world be a better place But by thy mercy, by thy grace Kiss all I want in this lifetime is you And all I want in this whole world is you, you, you Everybody now Tell the world that Jesus lives Tell the world that, tell the world that Tell the world that he died for them Tell the world that he lives again Tell the world that Jesus lives Tell the world church you might remember at last month's messy church we learnt about Easter and when Jesus came back to life you can imagine that when his friends saw him they were amazed and went around telling everyone what had happened Jesus was dead but now he is alive not everyone believed them some believed for a little while but were distracted by other things but those that did believe their faith grew and they went on to tell even more people. That's how we know about Jesus today. This morning, we are going to tell a story about some seeds. God is the farmer and the seeds are seeds of faith. When we hear God's word, they start to grow. All of them fell on different ground. This is us, the people. As we are all different, all the seeds grew differently too. Jill's going to tell us our story with the help of a few friends. Oh. Good morning, Messy Church. Great to see you again. Well, our story today is all about a farmer. So today I'm, far, I'm a farmer, farmer God, but also I am farmer Jill. And the story in the Bible is about the farmer scattering his seed, lots and lots of seed, because the, the farmer in the Bible is God. And God wants to scatter the seed, which is the good news that Jesus is alive all over the world. Jesus died and is alive. So the story goes, the farmer goes out to sow his seed and he scatters his seed. And some of the seed falls on the path, along the path. And the path is hard and the path hasn't got any where for the roots to go down of the seed. And birds come, and they snatch it away. And this is like people who can't believe. It's snatched away, they can't believe. So we continue on. Some of the seed was scattered and fell 
on the rocky ground and on the rocky ground the seed there wasn't any water there wasn't any soil it couldn't grow and it's like people who don't understand they start eager and happy but then they don't understand There's more seed and some of this seed was scattered by the farmer onto the, ah, the weedy ground. There's thistles, there's weeds and this seed started to grow but then they got distracted by things around them and didn't continue to grow just so distracted and didn't keep growing. The farmer then threw, scattered his seed and some of it fell on good soil where there was enough sunlight, there was enough water and it wanted to grow and it's like people who do grow and grow and then as they tell people about Jesus, they tell people about Jesus, they tell people about Jesus and they tell people about Jesus and it grows and grows, this spreading of the good news of Jesus. That is the story from the Bible today. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and far away. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hello Messy Churches, hoping that this is the last one online that we'll get to see you next time. So we're going to make a story wheel. Your wheel will look like this, but we're going to make it together. So 
the first thing you need to do is to take out your piece of card which has got the story on it and then colour it in. Choose what colours you want to, to choose. So you've got the sewer, he's the man in the story. Colour him in, what colours you'd like to choose. He's got a big bag and inside his bag are all the seeds and he's throwing the seeds all over the soil. So colour him in, I've made it a sunny day, might put some blue sky in there to um, show that it's a sunny day. And I've coloured the soil brown where the seeds will rest and grow. There. So on your piece of card, you've got two pictures. The first picture is the picture of the sower. And the second is all the different sorts of soils and the things that happened. <clears throat> so in this second picture, when it fell on the rocks, the soils, the plants started to grow up and then it just didn't have enough moisture to keep growing and the poor little plants died. I've coloured in some rocks and then I'm colouring the little plants. They start off all green and healthy but then they haven't got any water, enough water so they don't keep growing. So they shrivel up and die which is very sad. So there's a picture and I coloured the soil in brown behind it. So I just coloured over it with a bright brown crayon. The next one's got the birds in it. What colour will you do your birds? I'll show you mine. I did one black, one brown and one white like a dove. And I um, used a brown pen for all the little seeds and then I coloured with a brown crayon. The birds ate up all the seeds where they could. And then on the rocky soil, where the sun scorched, that's the one we did just now. And then amongst the thorns that choked the plants. So the plants are the green bit behind that's all nice and healthy. And then I've done some dark green thorns, thorny plants, thistles probably, that grew up and choked the plants. And then there's some good soil which produce, produces a great harvest. So here's your little plants, beautiful green stems, lovely orange seeds, um, seed heads like corn or wheat. So then you join together. So I've put a hole in your picture and in your pack you should find a little split pin. So you pop that into the first one and then you put it into the second one and then you open it just like that. There. And then the story is able to be told. A farmer went out to sow some seed. Some of the seed fell on rocky soil where the sun scorched it. And then you can move it round. And it says, a farmer went out to sow some seed. Some of the seed fell amongst thorns that choked the plants. Oh, that's awful, isn't it? It's very sad. I missed the birds off. Going back to the birds. A farmer went out to sow some seed. Some of the seed fell on the path where the birds ate it. And then lastly, here we go. A farmer went out to sow some seed. Some of the seed fell on good soil, which produced a great harvest. Jesus's story of the sower, the seed and the soil. Mark 4, verses 1 to 4 to 20. <laughs> 1 to 20. Hope you enjoy it.
Bye bye for now. So, are you ready to sing our song? Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hi there, we're going to be making one of these today. Let me get it in position. There, we're going to be making one of these. And can you see? Whoop. So there's a little girlie there watering the ground with a watering can. And you can see there's a little flower there already. And the sun's shining making the ground nice and warm and the watering cans made the ground nice and damp. So a little seed that was planted in the ground is now growing into a beautiful flower. Can you see? And it's got some really good roots and nice and strong. So the flower grows up to be really tall. There we are. Can you see those roots? There we are. So I'm going to show you how we make it. So this flower is on a lolly stick. Okay, and there's a split in the plate for it to come back down under. Whoop, a bit fiddly doing it one-handed. Anyway, I'm going to show you, how, show you how we do it. So I'm going to move the phone down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you've all got one of these plates and I've painted the earth for you. And I've also, with a special cutting tool, made a slit on the back for you there, all right? So, so you can put the lolly stick up. Now we need to paint some roots. So on mine, can you see? We've got some roots coming down into the earth. So the roots have to go down into the earth and, and they take up all the nutrients they need to feed the flower, to make it grow. So they're very important. So with a black biro, because these are quite dark, these, these um, that what I've painted, can you see I've drawn some, some roots down here. So from the ground, from here where the seed is planted, the roots come down here and also it starts to grow up till it's above the soil, but it hasn't reached that point yet. So you need to draw some roots coming down here, all right, into the deepness of the earth. You could even draw a worm or two if you wanted to, because they live down here too. All right, so when you've done that, put that to one side. Now, you're also, you've also been given a little girl like this. Isn't she sweet? Watering the garden. Now what I've done, I coloured her in. I thought I'd make her pretty and a little outfit. Look, there she is. So she's going to be stuck onto our plate. So lay her down. Now with the glue pen that you got in your last messy church pack, hopefully you still got it, just glue the back of her. And I'm going to stick her on so that she, so she looks like she's watering the garden. And you just want to stick her on about there. All right, just about there. All right, press her down. There we are. Well done. Now, we've also got one of these, a yellow disc. So we are going to stick it up there, and that's going to be the sun. Okay, so lay your plate down. Get your glue stick. Glue one side. And you can put the sun in the sky. You can put it where you like, as long as it's in the sky. All right, there we are. Okay, so lay that down. What we're going to do now is make the flower. Now there's my flower here. So we want a lolly stick, one of these. And you'll be given some flowers in your pack. And 
I am going to use a nice orange one and a blue one. All right, so lay your, get your lolly stick. And what I did, I did colour mine in green. Can you see? Because most stems are green, aren't they? So you can do that as well. But just for now, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to do that on this one. So you take the back of the sticky, back of the um, flower off, and you can stick that on your, there we are. Okay, stick it on your lollipop stick. And then I'm going to take the little, the little one, and just so it looks really pretty, I'm going to put it on the front there. There, doesn't that look nice? Okay, so we're finished. So now you can, you can start your flower to grow. Here it comes, nice warm sunshine. Nice lots of water on the ground. Make the root system very good. And here it goes, it's growing up and up and up and up and up. morning this morning we're going to make cress heads and you should have a little pot like that which you need now okay so have you all got your little pots now inside your pots you will find everything you need apart from some water to make the cress heads I'll turn it around this way now what I want you to do first is to take all your things out of the pot. Cotton wool, a mouse, a little tiny bag of seeds, a nose. Mine's red, that's my favourite colour, and yours may be yellow or purple or green or pink. And you've got two eyes in there, the goggle eyes. One, two. There they are. Now we're going to start by making the face on the outside. You've got some sticky bits on here and you need to pull the blue piece of paper off, first of all. So if you can do that, that's it. Off the mouth, the one at the bottom. You can either put your mouth on like that, which will make him look a bit sad, or we could have a nice happy face. I'm going to choose a happy face. There we go. Here's my happy face. Now take the little blue piece of paper off the middle one. That's your nose. And they're nice little fluffy round balls. And you can stick it on like that. So he's got a nose. Now we'll do the eyes next. There we go. So get your goggle eyes. And 
one on that side and one on that side. Whoops. Okay. So you should have something that looks like that now. You may have a sad face, of course. And then take your cotton wool. Right, fluff it out a little bit. Push it in like that. I've got a bit more here. Push it all in. I think you'll find you've got three bits as well. And that is that. And then get your little tiny packet of seeds. Be very careful. Easy to drop them. And sprinkle them. Oh, they want to stay on my finger. All over the cotton wool. That's lovely. There we go. Oops, a couple more there. And then later on, when we've finished Messy Church, you need to get some water, like this, and just pour it over the cotton wool. Now, we don't want to drown it, but we do want enough there to um, make them nice and wet. And what I actually am, uh, do, you don't have to do this bit, and you haven't got this in your um, pot or anything, I get a little bit of cling film, put it over the top like this, and then put them on a nice warm window, and that will help them to keep moist so they don't dry out. Um, but do keep an eye on them, because if they dry out, they won't grow. They need water to grow. So there it is. And this morning, you're hearing all about a story that Jesus told about seeds and about telling people about Jesus. Just before we finish Messy Church this morning, I've got a couple of questions for you. I wonder, can you remember who Farmer Jill was in our story? Hmm. Any guesses? Yes, she was Father God, sowing the seeds in the field. And how about the seeds that the farmer planted? What do they represent? Yes, it's our faith, the good news that Jesus is alive. And the soil? That's us, all of the people in the world who hear about Jesus. Don't forget to send us some pictures of your craft creations this morning. You can email them to us or comment on the Facebook page under the video. We hope to see you in person next month on Saturday the 22nd of May. We hope to be meeting in the church building, but we'll keep you posted. Until then, take care and see you soon. Bye. But by thy mercy, by thy